exactly the same soil zone as we've just previously been investigating with the deep and the shallow techniques. But what we're trying to show here is the importance of maintaining the correct approach, cultural uh, regime on black grass in particular, but also in establishing their crops and managing soils for health all the way through the rotation. So within the oilseed rape, we've sown it here with the Cousins microwing machine. So we're working to only three uh, inches deep in here in order to sow our rape. And this rape is sown in 600 millimeter rows. Uh, so we've sown the rape in here and here, and the area in between those rows is not moved at all. Really important in oilseed rape because we need to sow this crop in August, but black grass will not start to germinate in earnest until the middle to the end of September. Uh, so there's no point in trying to encourage growth before we sow this crop with propizomide and carbetamide being our base herbicide products for control of black grass in oilseed rape and a critical part of controlling the weed in the rotation because there's no resistance to those herbicides. But those herbicides only want to work on black grass about that depth in the soil. Um, so it's really important that we keep the black grass seeds on the surface so those herbicides can give us uh, optimum effect. Now the oilseed rape With the micro wing only running two to three inches deep, again, we're maintaining our soil health. So we've got a very similar soil structure to the one we've just previously seen in the shallow tilled soil. We've got lots of worm activity and this breeze block like structure taking place on the surface. But our all seed rape, although we're only cultivating it to about three inches deep, you can see that we're maintaining the worm holes in the soil and the oilseed rape utilizes those to get to depth in the soil. So we, we end up with a root structure, which is kind of that shape. Uh, and I would argue that this is a very much more efficient root system with a much greater surface area, much more root hair engaging with the soil and utilizing that nutrient rich area around the worm burrows compared to one single straight tap root just running to depth in the soil and we see absolutely no decline in yield from using this technique and this is absolutely typical of what we see.